You know, horses, I may just be the horse manager here, but someday I want to be in charge of this whole camp. You'll see me driving past this horse barn in my shiny new limousine and you'll say, is that Cowboy Tim, our old boss, and now he's the president of this camp and he gets to drive his own limousine around the camp? Now that's what I call a real cool guy. And I'll wave at you and you'll wave back because by then scientists will have figured out a way for horses to have human hands that can wave. But I'm sorry horses, I get real poetic when I look up at the moon. I guess I should get back to what this camp needs me to do, which is fix that hole in the roof that lets me look up at the moon. Hello, everyone. I hope we are all doing well, even though we failed our inspection and our dreams died. Oh. But it's not all bad news. In fact, I have the opposite of bad news. I have good news. Good news, huh? I wonder if anyone here is getting promoted to president. What? No. First, I want to thank Nico for getting all those possums out of Cabin Ringtail Cat. It was simple, really. I just thought, well, one of these critters is about to become a mother, and a men's bathroom in a camp is no place for a possum to become a mother. So I moved them all into Cabin Regular Cat, which is the women's cabin. I was not aware of that second part. Moving right along, uh, I would like to thank Brian for all of his hard work. Brian cleaned up all of the toilets after they overflowed after that big storm. It was a dirty job and Brian did it, which is why I am going to promote Brian to Chief Cleanup Manager. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I always knew that I would be recognized for my hard work and cool t-shirts, but it looks like today is my day. I'd like to thank my hairstylist, um, all the plumbing YouTube videos I watched, and of course, mops. That's enough, Brian. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for the promotion, Tish. So, uh, we are making progress, but we still have a big list of tasks that we need to get done that we failed from the first inspection. Whether or not we complete this list determines whether our dream dies or rises, like a phoenix from the ashes. What is a phoenix? It's the capital of Florida, dum-dum. Nancy, have you had any luck reaching Tex to let him know that I failed him and his camp? I have not, and I promise not to use that phrasing when I do. Great. Tim, all of our open trash cans were a major health code violation during our inspection. Can you go and secure all of their lids so that the raccoons don't get into them again? Raccoons are scary little devils with mischief hands, and I swear to you, I will protect our precious garbage. Brian, do you mind giving the mess hall another pass? Well, I am chief cleanup manager, so of course I will. Stupid president of toilets. Nico, I need you to prepare for the virtual nature walk and take down that dangerous rope swing. Consider it done. All right, and that just leaves uh, uh, the well. Hank, Hank, I need you to- Throw a hundred pennies into the well to make a dollar's worth of wishes so we can have a triple sized bunk bed, but not one that falls apart so that our ghosts don't die. Um, you know what? I will take care of the well. You just go relax. Okay. Phoenix is just the capital of Florida. Meeting adjourned. So do you have everything you need for your virtual nature walk today? Of course. I'm gonna show those kiddos the finer points of taking down a deer with just a bow, arrow, and the raw power of your bare hands. Uh, no, I, I was thinking you could just do more of a like, hike through the woods. Sure, Brian and Nancy grab a camera, they film me in the woods, and if I happen to see tonight's dinner, then I calmly explain to the kiddos the life cycle and the important role that death plays in the balance of every ecosystem. Try again. I will take a walk in the woods and then I will show them how to catch a fish off a dock. And no nihilistic existentialism? And no nihilistic existentialism, even if it would help them grow up faster. Good. Registrations are down and we need to attract new campers here. Understood. Oh, which reminds me, are your hunting and fishing licenses up to date? Ridiculous. No one has ever seen me hunt or fish. I'm too good to be seen. With the proper camouflage, I'm invisible. Please take your deer urine out of the communal fridge. Why would I need a license? The police can't write a ticket for somebody they can't see. Nico, you work with children. This has to be done by the book. 
It's certainly done by a book. Nico, just go into town and get this sorted, okay? You can take my car. You have your driver's license, right? Why would I take a car when we have horses? This isn't up for debate. We're getting you licensed and we're taking my car. Okay, I'll drive. Go get your ID. Please don't make me touch my government stuff. Now. Fine. I will. But I want to go on record as saying that I think this is a horrible idea. Oh, so you want to go on record? On second thought, no. Strike this from the record. I was never here. Tish! Oh my god! I know Brian's the president of the toilets now, but I would also like some more responsibility for myself. I, one day I would like to be Sheriff Tim, or President Tim, or President Sheriff Tim, limo driver. Tim, what are you talking about? You're the only cowboy here, and the horses love you. Please, I just want to be able to someday drive a limo around camp to make all the horses jealous. What? No. Chish, I want to prove that I'm not just the horse guy, or the horse poop guy, or the poopy horse guy. Actually, do you think you could take on Nico's virtual nature class today? You, you'd just take a walk through the woods, Brian and Nancy will film you, you can show the kids some plants, some birds or deer, and try not to kill anything, and be home in time for dinner. Sure, I would love to show some kids some alive birds. Great. Go get Nancy and Brian to come with you. It's not that I don't trust you, it's just that I mostly don't trust you. You will not regret this until you get back. You can only control so much, Tish. You are doing your best, and that has to be enough. You have everything you need? Yes. Your government documents? Pardon me, Jesus. friends, but I was wondering if I could come into town with you? Uh, I haven't been in town in a very long time. I would love to visit my favorite restaurant. You mean that guy that sells sandwiches out of his car? Jeff's food pickup truck makes a great pastrami on rye. Jeff's food pickup truck? Yeah, it's like a food truck, but it's a pickup truck. Sounds like a great way to get a toilet sickness. What the heck? Hop in, Hank Hank. <laughs> Thanks, Mom and Dad. Dude, it'll be fine. Walk through the woods, point out a bird or two, and then show the kids how to get home. And Brian's going to record the whole thing. Do I have to talk to the kids on the other end of the phone camera? It'll be fine. You're a cowboy, kids love cowboys. They'll think you're that guy from Toy Story. Buzz Lightyear? How do I even talk to kids? Most of my coworkers, no offense, are horses. I mean, you talk to the horses. Just pretend the kids are the horses. So I should talk real big and make it so all the horses know that I'm the biggest, strongest horse in the barn. Got it. Pretend they're smaller horses. Yeah, and you have to be like really nice and quiet or they'll run away. Okay. I think I got it. We can start rolling. Okay. What's up, baby ponies? It's your new boss, Cowboy Tim. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to look at birds. There's a bug on my face. All right, it's time for sandwiches from a food pickup truck. Bye-bye! You ready to go legit? I can't wait. Oh, thank God, my lunch is here. Oh, I, no, we are, we're actually here to uh, get this guy his hunting and fishing licenses. Why are you with him? Are you like his mom? I'm an experienced hunter and tracker. No one would ever see me. Regardless, I understand that it's still important that I follow the rules, so. Okay, 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 just give me your documents. Nice bag, secret agent man. You have a kill man? A gentleman never tells. Okay, so that's a yes. So, uh, just stand over there and I'll get you set up with the necessary paperwork, okay? Back. Back. Right there by the garbage can. Perfect. This is going to 
going great. I hate you. Okay, baby ponies, the trick to exploring the forest is to follow your nose. A wise man once told me that. So this is what it would be like if there were no adults and we just let the kids teach themselves. Okay, ponies, as you can see, we have been following our nose and we have seen some very cool rocks that we have never seen before. And if that wise man who was a bird was right, we are very close to a big bowl of breakfast cereal or perhaps the bird himself. Now, I know you don't have birds where you are, so I'm going to make sure that you get to see some birds today. Where does Tim think these kids are from? Oh, before we left, I, I kind of told him none of these kids had seen animals before because he was asking why they would want to go on a virtual tour. So. A bird is like a bug, but it's larger and it can sing. That explains a lot. Okay, ponies, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take some bread and we're gonna tear it up and we're gonna put it all around us. And what that does is it's gonna be a trick from an old nature tracking book I read when I was a pony myself. The trick to throwing bread everywhere is that later when you come back, you see the bread you threw everywhere and you'll go, have I been here before? Why, yes I have. There's a whole bunch of bread that I threw from earlier. Okay, Tim, can we keep it rolling? Like, we're barely outside of camp and we haven't even seen a bird yet. You hear that, ponies? My assistant deputy Nancy says that we gotta keep moving before all the birds go home from work for the night. Let's get out of here. He thinks the birds go to work. Hey. It's Jeff, my favorite sandwich maker and third best friend. I am one of your finest sandwiches, please. But first, let's do the secret handshake I made you learn. Hank Hank, my favorite. A good guy. It's very good to see you, but I am very sad today. So I will do the secret handshake, but I will do it while frowning. Please, please just, just take, take your sandwich, sandwich and leave. leave. Oh, what's got you sad, Jeff? You know my old pickup truck? You mean this one right here? Jeff's food pickup truck? The one that you have to call Jeff's food pickup truck because the other food trucks in town got mad at you for calling it a food truck? That's the one. She's sick. Oh no, the old girl? And now I can't toast my delicious sandwiches on the hot engine like I always do. Oh no, the engine and the sandwiches? I'm sorry Hank, but now all I have are these disgusting cold sandwiches that haven't been toasted on the hot engine of a pickup truck. <laughs> Oh, gross! Is there anything I can do to help? Not unless you know how to fix cars. I've seen a car before. Go on. Oh, that's it. I've just seen a car before. Okay, ponies. We've seen a lot of cool rocks today, but we have not seen any birds. I'm starting to think that maybe all the birds caught in sick to work today. Okay, Tim. It's getting kind of late. We should start heading back soon. No, if we head back now and the ponies don't see birds, then I don't get to be president of teaching and then drive a limousine around camp. What? No. Exactly, Brian. Plus, I don't want to freak you out, but I think we're lost. I assumed by now we would see some uncool rocks. You know, cool rocks we had seen before and then we saw again and we could just follow those back to camp. But all of these rocks are cool and that's why we're lost and that's why we're going to be eaten by wolves tonight. Tim, you goofus. Everything's gonna be okay. I think we can make it back to camp if we just... Nancy, I have to do this myself or I'm not a good teacher. Do you trust me? <sighs> yes. Great. My tracking skills tells us that if we just find some uncool rocks, we can get back to camp. And my intuition says that all the uncool rocks are that way. Tim, I don't think that's the way back. We're lost and that's not gonna help. Wait, are we really lost? Brian, we're on a trail. God. Right, we're on a trail. Come on, Brian, think better. So, what exactly is happening right now? What do you mean? She's just like taking my information and taking a look at it, right? Well, your information's gonna go on like a list in a database that says that you're a responsible person and did the right thing. So she's just going to like take the information and jot it down on a piece of paper and then lock that piece of paper up and, and never see it again unless something bad happens, right? Uh, well, it's an online database. It's an online database. My information is going online. I, yeah, but it, it's super secure. Government databases rarely get A hacked. government database. Tish, my information is going in a government database. Oh my god, have you ever heard of keeping it down? I'm trying to make this perfect and I can't concentrate with all this commotion. 
That's all right, we actually changed our mind. We're leaving now. No, Nico, please keep processing. Nico, we have to do this. I know you hate it, but if we don't do this, we don't have camp. This feels like someone is pulling out my fingernails and that is coming from someone who has had their fingernails pulled out. There's no other way. We have to get you licensed. Hey! I know you can hear me. You're like eight feet away. This is a nightmare. I need some fresh air. Oh. Thank you! I think the, what the problem is, is that this part of the engine is supposed to move this part of the engine, and but it can't, so it doesn't work. Huh. This reminds me of ants. Yes, go on. When ants need to migrate colonies, they move from one place to another, just like the oil in this engine. But when there is a blockage, they fix it by... That's how we fix your engine. It's just like the ants. <gasps> hey, Cake, you did it. You just earned yourself free pickup truck sandwiches for life. Oh, that's such great news because I don't have any money. I was gonna have to pay you in caterpillars. Hey, Nico. Oh, why the bummer face? Hey, Hank. I just found out that Tish misled me. Had me put all my information in an online government database. I didn't understand like four words in a row there, but I can tell by your face this is terrible news. It is. I'm just so, I'm mad at her. I feel so betrayed. Why'd she do it? Oh, was it a prank? <laughs> Did you get pranked by Tish? It kind of feels like it. Last time Cowboy Tim pranked me, he said, just give us some time and you'll think it's funny eventually, but it's been over a year and most of my clothes are still in the bottom of the well. No, it wasn't a prank. She said that I needed to because it's the only way it could be legal for me to work here. Oh, so there wasn't really any other way, huh? That's what she said. Sounded like she didn't really have a choice then either. No. It just made me start to wonder if I should even be here anymore. This kind of thing goes, goes against everything I believe in. Come on, Nico, you love Camp Lake. I mean, the only reason I stayed here was because you told me about how great it was and how great all people are. Yeah, that, and you had no idea where you were going to go. You also didn't know any other people. <laughs> well, that was just... A small part of it, sure. You know what, you're right. Let's go back inside. I think sometimes you just have to do things that you don't want to. Like get all your clothes thrown down well. Yeah, remind me to tell you and Tim what a prank is, okay? Okay. That's it, buddy. Okay, buddy. We've got to go back. It is really getting late. I do not think uncool rocks are the solution here, pal. All this time, we've Tim, had- Tim, look what I found. Brian, is that what I think it is? An uncool rock to guide us home? Come see for yourself. Hooray, it's horse poop. Hooray, it's horse poop. A trail. We've been on a concrete trail this entire time. Why are you guys yelling about horse poop? I know this horse poop. It belongs to Morrissey. This is the path where I take my horses for our one-on-ones. It's a manager thing you wouldn't understand. We're not lost. Let's follow this horse poop back to camp. See, Nancy? Uncool rocks. Hey, everybody. Who wants some sandwiches from a car? Finally. My food is here. Oh, you must be bridges. Jeff told me he gave us to you. His car was broken, but no big deal. I fixed it, because I know about bugs. 
I have no idea what you're talking about, but I was so hungry, I was about to kill a man. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's getting dark. How much longer is this going to take? You're good to go. I was done in like five minutes. I was just fussy because I didn't have any food in my tum tum. Here's your portfolio, Mr. Bond. Thank you, ma'am. Your hands are strong. They've been through a lot. I bet they've got all kinds of stories. Thanks. But if these hands could talk, I would sew up their mouths shut myself. Hmm. I would wait till you were asleep, and then I'd snip their stitches and listen to the whispers. Nico, Hank Hank, we are going now. Thanks for the sandwich, bug man. Florida and Phoenix are capital cousins. <laughs> I love you sandwich. Wow. Tim, you did it. He got us back to camp and we didn't get eaten by a bear or nothing. Yeah, but I promised those ponies they'd see a bird and we didn't see any birds. Nary a bird. Yeah, but you were kind of yelling the whole time, so maybe you scared them away. You said to talk to the kids like they were horses and I yell at horses. It's a manager thing you wouldn't understand. Okay, Mr. Manager Tim. Please, it's just Cowboy Tim. Okay, Mr. Cow Manager Boy Tim. So you didn't get to show kids the stupid birds, but you did get us back here safe and sound, and you taught a nature class today. Yeah, but what good is a teacher if they can't even show a child a bird? Besides, I knew we'd never get lost. Remember that, Brad? I took that from a nature tracking book. It's one where two kids go on an educational hike in the forest, and then they meet a witch. Oh, God damn it! why are you like this? Were you homeschooled by a pelican? Even if I didn't get us back here with those horse poops, I still would have gotten us back safely with those breadcrumbs. Oh my God, Tim, <laughs> you'll not believe this, but there are birds. They ate my breadcrumbs, just like in that fable slash nature guide book. And they all look kind of sick. Oh, they must be having a bad time because of the Alka-Seltzer. The what? In Handsome Gretel, the birds ate all the bread. But at camp, some people have a gluten intolerance, so I put Alka-Seltzer in the bread in case the birds can't eat gluten. Oh my god, Alka-Seltzer? Dude, those birds don't look so good. Oh no! The gluten did this! Well, I hope these kids are loving these birds. I will take my victories where I can get them! Oh no, did the birds eat a bunch of gluten? Hold on, let me check. Okay, yes, these birds are sick, but they'll pull through. Darn you, bread! But only after I give them mouth to mouth. Nico, you don't have to do that. Sometimes you have to do things that you don't want to do, Tish. This camp isn't just about doing things you like. Sometimes you have to suffer for the greater good. Nico, stop. This is how you get so many diseases. It's for the greater good, Tish. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ryan, are you getting this? What a weird end to Tim's nature class. I did it! I'm a teacher now! Good morning, everybody. I have some great news to share. Hey, do you think anyone's gonna be made president? <sighs> great question. I'm so tired. My bones hurt. That class broke me. I wanna give a big thanks to Cowboy Tim who stepped up and taught Nico's nature class. Thank you, everyone. I'm the president. I don't think any birds died. What a normal speech. And because of how well his class went, I'd like to make Cowboy Tim the head teacher for our online nature class. He's going to teach class every week. Hooray, I'm the president of teaching. Nancy, please present Cowboy Tim with his new title. I spent like an hour on this. There you go. Huh? Oh my goodness, horses, I had the craziest dream. I talked to ponies through a camera, and then Nico kissed a bunch of birds, and then Tish made me the president, and then, and then, I've still gotta fix that hole in the roof. <laughs>